Hello there, my name is Ismos, and today we're going to be looking at volume absorption in Blender, or the volume absorption node, or which makes glass look like more glass, look more realistic. So it gives the glass a little bit of depth. Uh, so let's, I have a few objects here. Let me turn on to cycles. It doesn't really work well with EV, so let's switch to cycles and see how that works. I'm also going to turn on uh, denoising. Uh, let me first switch to GPU here so that everything is faster and I'm going to start with samples at 10 so that my viewport doesn't slow down too, too much. I'll just do this. Now if I create a new material here and see we have uh, this principal BSDF. Uh, it can give you glass by turning on uh, the transmission here uh, but uh, I, I found that uh, the glass by the principal BDS, uh, B SDF is not uh, the best and it doesn't really render that fast. So I'm just going to switch to uh, the glass shader under shader glass and then connect that to surface. Now you can see how this looks. Let me, let me try adding in uh, an HDRI image so that we can have something to refract in the background. So I'll just open up my HDRI images. Let me drop in uh, this some nice highlights uh, so this really works well with a uh, colored glass uh, so let's try you can see how this looks actually I should have used uh, the same geometry shapes to demonstrate this better so let me duplicate this is going to have no absorption and this is going to have absorption so um, let me just duplicate this into a second material so that you can see the difference. So if I go in and add a volume absorption node here, drop that to the volume, you can see change the color. So it makes the, the glass look a bit thicker. I don't know if you can see it here see how thick it looks now compared to this you can play with the density and uh, usually we want uh, the color the glass color to be the same as the absorption color and uh, the best way to do this or the easiest way to do this is by adding uh, an input RGB node and then have the glass and volume absorption share the same input like that now you can control uh, the glass the, the glass color directly here and then if you change the den density you can make it thicker you can make the glass look a bit thicker let's see here you don't really have any control of the thickness and let me maybe bring this closer to the camera here Maybe another tip I should add into this because I think this is a bit finished. So you can see when I move this in front of this, you don't really see see through this. Uh, this is because the refraction, the the refraction refractive index, uh, the, or the index of refraction, is calculated based on uh, the entire thickness of this object. Uh, so and uh, I, try, I have seen this problem. It's not really a problem, but uh, let me just, it's better to demonstrate this using a, a sphere than this is a head. Let's bring this. So for example, if you're trying to create a glass, sorry, a bow, and you just use a shape like this, Let's give it the same material here. Control L. You can see uh, this is glass, and it should be trans. It should be transparent where you can see through uh, the background, where you can see through to this Susan head. And uh, I think you can see through it, but uh, because of the thickness of this object, you can't. The light is being refracted too much, 
uh, because of the thickness of this. So if you want to make it look like uh, bulb glass, you would have to add a solidify modifier so that you can see now we are able to see through see this is an head. Uh, let me just reduce the absorption just a bit maybe make the glass a bit brighter now you can see we can see this is an head without the thickness it just distorts it distorts whatever is in the background uh, too much because uh, the volume of the object is now cal calculated uh, or the thickness of the, the object is this much thick so that's a very thick piece of glass now if you add the solidify modifier now the thickness of the glass is just uh, is just this much here or whatever the thickness let me just bisect this for a second here okay, there used to be a shortcut for this i don't know if it still is what it is shift out b and just let me just uh Actually, actually, I guess down. Let us move. Yes, as you can see, the thickness of this with a solidify modifier is just that thing. And without that, is calculated as the entire thing is a solid surface, making it distort everything too much you can see here how much is distorting it and just bring this back you can see now it looks like glass yeah so that's two tips for you and uh, yeah thank you for watching